Senator, thanks. And as we have reported extensively this week, this pandemic is taking an especially deadly toll on nursing homes, with many families fearing for the lives of loved ones, a growing concern about the lack of supplies and workers. With more, here's Kate Snow. Tonight, New York warning of a deepening crisis. 19 of the state's nursing homes have had at least 20 deaths each, including the Sapphire Center in Queens, where staff shortages mean it's hard for families to get information. Leona Figuera talked with our Ron Allen. More than a week ago, she tried to FaceTime her sister there. I called the coordinator, and she told me that she could not get to the room. It was closed. I then called the desk, the nurse's station, and the nurse told me, Yes, she passed away about 3 or 3.30. So no one ever called you and gave you some official explanation? No, she asked me if the doctor had called me, and I said nobody called me. Amid demands from governors in New York, Michigan, and Ohio for nursing homes to be more transparent about coronavirus cases, today West Virginia's governor went even further, ordering every single resident and staff member in nursing homes across the state to be tested, some governors sending in the National Guard to help. We need the protective gear that we should have to take care of these residents. We have children, we have, we have our own family to go home to. In a new national survey of care facilities, 70% say they're not fully prepared for COVID and nearly half are having staffing challenges. Nursing homes are really struggling right now to find individuals willing to work. At that facility where authorities say 17 bodies were found in a morgue, the county health department today disputing management's claim that staffing was solid. Many workers at nursing homes are falling ill themselves, about a third of the staff at Belmont in Boston. Angeline Bernadell died after working as a nurse at a facility in Connecticut. And experts are concerned that some employees are coming to work sick. Oftentimes they'll feel pressure from nursing home administration to keep coming in in order to keep the building staffed. But at San Simeon on New York's Long Island, each employee is screened at the door. If I have a staff member call in with a headache um, or if their spouse works with someone who tested positive, I'm keeping them out two weeks with pay. Director of Nursing Kelly Matero left her own family and moved in last month. All our staff has been just so flexible and willing to go the extra mile for me right now. To date, she says, they've had no cases here. Kate Snow, NBC News.